Okay, hi everyone. Oops, camera's a little bouncy. Sorry about that. Okay, we're going to do triangle loop flower. It's another one done on the circular grid, but this time they drew the grid kind of different. So I'm not exactly sure how I want to do this. So it looks like they've done uh, one, two, three and then skipped one, and then did one, two, three, and then skipped one, one, two, three, skipped one. So it would be, let's start here. It would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. It would be a 16? That doesn't seem right. Is that right? I'm just trying to, to figure out, okay, so this would be straight across, right? That one. And this one's straight across. And that one, okay, so that would be an eight. So it would be a 16. Okay. We're just gonna try it and see what happens. Um, Let's just see what happens. I'm gonna actually draw it twice, I think. I've grabbed two little pages. I'm gonna draw two little ones. Um, I'm gonna do one using the grid and one just freehand to see what happens. Cause I think this one I can draw freehand. I don't think I need the grid, but we're just gonna give it a go. Oops, wrong direction. Okay, so let's use the circle maker. I'm going to actually maybe I don't even need the circle maker. Let's let's do across across yeah, maybe. Let's see what happens. Put this at zero. Put the zero straight over here, right in the middle. Like so. And so I want Forty-five. That would make it half straight across, right? Oh, my little paper is too small. It's gooching around. Okay, that won't work. Paper's too small. The circle maker works great for bigger paper. Either that or I need to glue down my page or something. Let's just do it this way. Okay, no circle maker for me today. Now, if you go on Pattern Dash Collections, if you want to, you can find this grid, the dot grid, printed out. So if you want to use it. Okay, so then it's like... That would be 16, but they're not using all of them. Let me get a nice circle in here. A circle I can do, I think, hopefully. Maybe one inch. Nope, it moves. It moves, no good. No bueno. Okay. So we want, we only need two circular 
bits. So I'm going to put one about that big. Maybe I can use the middle one of this. Well, that'll work. Okay. Do it there and there. That should be close. Okay, if I do that, and then I do another one further out. See, I was gonna. T I told you I was gonna make you not sit through this part, but each one seems to be slightly different. So I'm having to draw each of these on camera. Okay, so I've really made quite the mess of this. I'm going to really lighten it all up because I don't need that part. I need the dots. And I don't even think I need the dots. I think I can do it without the dots as a freeform pattern. But you know what? The point of this is to learn how to do a pattern that I've never done before. So I'm going to do it the way it's shown. And then, then I can go rogue. Oh, wait a minute. What happened to my phone? It lost its page. Come on. Oh, why have we turned sideways? Ah. What is it doing? Go back. I don't know what it's doing. There. Oh, that's not even the right one. What has my phone done? Look, it's, oh, it's on the wrong darned thing. I don't know what it's done. Now I have to go find it again. Lord have mercy. What is it doing? I don't know. What are we doing? Triangle loop flower. Okay. So I need a dot here, here, and here. And here, here, and here. And then I need to skip that one. And then I need to go here, here, and here. And then I need to skip that one. And then I need to go here, here, and here. And I need to skip that one. And then I need to go here, here, and here. Like that. Okay, that's the, those are the dots we need. Very confusing. So from the middle here, we can come up through that dot, through that dot, and right down. Okay, so we make like a, a big petal shape, like that, and like that. Why am I doing it in pencil? Dawn, what are you doing? I don't. Let's try a pen. Shall we? Yes, we shall. Okay. Round and then up and around. Okay, and then here. too far out here, but I don't think it matters. As long as I do it the same. Right? Oh, oh, I completely, completely missed my dots there. And I didn't make that one the same. Ay, ay, ay. I'm not doing well. Ah. Must be time to be done drawing, but that's okay. All right, let's just do step three. Oh, you know what? I didn't even show you the darn steps. I am so... I, I should just start over. Turn the light back off. I didn't even show you the steps. All I showed you was the darn drawing of the... I got so got so discombobulated with this business that I didn't even show you the steps. Hi, yay, yay. Okay, so step one, we're gonna do what I just did. There's, I did step one and two. You do this. 
But you see, I went up higher than my dots. I didn't come here, so I'm already not following the rules. <sighs> then we do this. That's where I'm at now. Then we do this shape here inside there. And then we do a triangle inside there. And then we do this, whatever this is. Sort of a curve here and then a triangle. And then we can put a little dot there. So we're aiming for like that and like that. And there's the artwork. I am so sorry, I didn't even show you. Were you guys yelling at me? I am sure you were yelling at me. Like, we don't even know what we're drawing because you haven't shown the step outs. Hi, yay, 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 yay. I'm discombobulated today. Okay. So let's do this part. It kind of goes like this. Like that and then inside this part it has kind of a curve here and then it kind of comes up and around like this kind of like a window curve and up and around and down and then a curve and up and around Like a car window, kind of. Okay. And then under here, we do that same curve, but we do a triangle. That curve and a triangle. That curve and a triangle. Okay. Now you could stop here. This would be a really cool pattern stopped right here. I think actually I would probably prefer it stopped here but it has this other thing it has a curve from here to here and then a triangle from here to here I guess that would be why it's called triangle loop flower right got these triangles in it okay there there there, 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 and there, 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 and there. Okay, now it's done. That's completed. We can erase all of our grid marks, our guidelines. But I want to try it more free form and see what happens. Because I don't think I need all of that construction business. The construction stuff, the, the dots and the grids are great for certain complicated and complex patterns, but I don't think you need them for all of them. Just my personal opinion. If, if that's not your personal opinion, that's cool. You know, we can agree to disagree, but my personal opinion is that I don't even need it. So I'm going to try again, starting here in the middle, and I'm going to do this petal shape, and I'm going to come back over here, and I'm going to do that petal shape again. And then I'm going to do it this way. way and then I'm going to do this lovely curve there 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 and there 
Now I must say my my these petals are much skinnier. I like this shape. This shape, just like it is. I would embellish this shape. Super cool, right? But let's do it the way the pattern shows. And so I'm going to decide right about here, I'm going to put my triangle. Right about there. Right about here. And right about there. And then I'm going to do that sort of window shape. drawing that window shape before the triangle shape but I don't think it makes any difference okay there again I would probably stop right here I find this very attractive but we're gonna we're gonna do the whole thing so I'm gonna follow this curve and do this and do that triangle follow this curve do this curve and do this and follow this curve and do that. They don't look that whole lot different and I found this much to be much more enjoyable to draw. So, um, yeah, I think I'm going to leave it this. I'm not going to finish them. I could finish the artwork, but I don't, I don't think I'm going to. I think I'm going to just leave them at this as samples of how you can get to the same place. Drawing the steps sort of basically the same, but using a grid and not using a grid. And to be honest, I found that the grid... I think on this particular one, for, for some reason, the grid threw me completely off, and I don't know, maybe it was just because the grid didn't have all of its spots, so it confused me to start with. I think I would have preferred all the dots to be there on a regular grid rather than having them those this one missing. I think that threw me off, and if it threw me off as a um, as an experienced pattern artist then it would absolutely throw you guys off as an inexperienced artist so that's that's my takeaway from this particular pattern is that it needs uh, needs the green dots the, the green grid to be more regular that just me I don't know but I don't even need it that's what I'm saying is is if the step out was shown differently without the without the grid and without the dots I don't even need it anyway I'm gonna leave them right here I'm gonna put the name right across the triangle loop flower sign them because you know I do but I'm gonna do it like that and let you guys decide how you want to draw it yourself you know either do it the grid way or not see I completely I I yeah if I was to finish this off this artwork I would do some things to disguise part of this where I um, am not consistent with the, the length of my loops these ones are good but this one's way wacky so I would probably if I was to draw this again I would probably do something like this to disguise my my loop problem something like that and now it looks a little more consistent 
and maybe I would fill this in, you know, do all my embellishments and maybe some striping, maybe some coloring in. I mean, there's all sorts of things you could do with it, but I don't think I, I, I'm not going to do it on both of them. So I'm just going to leave it just like that. So I hope you guys uh, got some good information out of this. I learned something and I learned that I really, really like this pattern when I stop at step five. I think that is absolutely stunning. And um, the next time I use it in any artwork, I'm gonna stop at step five because I find that that is to be, to me, more attractive. And that's just me. That's my own personal style, my own personal opinion. Um, you know, it's obviously not the opinion of the person who created the step out because, you know, they didn't stop there. They continued on. They liked this other bit of it. They liked probably this, this triangular thing that was happening in the middle. It's not my favorite. We can all have our own personal favorites, right? So anyway, um, I think I'm going to leave it at this. Uh, next video is going to be Zia XIA and um, yeah I'm I'm totally ready to be just about done for the day with drawing because it is way too freaking hot out here the air conditioning is working well inside my room but it's still it is still hot even with the air working pretty well it is still darn hot it is currently come on update it is currently 78 degrees inside my studio nope it's now 80 it has updated and 45 percent humidity and it is 92 degrees outside yeah and it's just going to get hotter it's not at the peak of the day yet i'm ready to just go in the house and that maybe after it cools off tonight, we'll put sit in the pool for a little bit. But um, I think I'm done. Totally think I'm done for the day. Anyway, see you guys later. Have a great one. Go out and do something nice for someone today. And make the world a better place. Um, you know, go give someone a nice cool glass of water. Uh, hand, them, hand them an adult beverage as they finish their day if that's what they're into. Make people happy. That's, that's easy to do. I will see you guys on the next video. Bye-bye.